In this video, we'll answer the question whether CH2Cl2, this is dichloromethane, is polar or nonpolar. The short answer is this is a polar molecule. So if we look at the structure here, we have our carbon, the two chlorines, and the hydrogens. So you can look at it right away. You see these two chlorines. They're pretty electronegative. So we would have a side that had a partial negative charge and over here a partial positive. That would make a polar molecule. But let's look at the electronegativity values for the atoms here. So we have hydrogen right here, 2.2, and then chlorine, 3.16. So the general rule is if this is over 0 0.5, the difference between the two molecules, it's a polar molecule. So this is going to be a polar molecule based on that rule. So if we look at this bond here between the carbon and the chlorine, this bond, the electrons in this bond that are shared, they're going to spend more time around the chlorine. That'll give it a partial negative charge. Same here, partial negative. Over here, that means we're going to have partial positive charges. And this isn't a symmetrical molecule. We have the chlorines on one side here, the hydrogens on the other. So since it's not a symmetrical molecule, we have our negatives here, our positives on the other side. We have poles. It's a polar molecule. We could put these symbols in here. And it might be easier just to consider this side here to be negative and this to be the positive pole. So in answer to our question, CH2Cl2, that's going to be a polar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.